Today's Talk of the Town is sponsored by Fitness Plus. It's now time for Talk of the Town, and today we're talking fitness. Fitness Plus is Lexington's longest standing personal training studio, and today, owner and operator Sheila Kalis is here with some reasons why one on one training is the way to go. Welcome to the show. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. So nice to meet you. So tell us about Fitness Plus. Well, Fitness Plus is, as you said, Lexington's longest standing personal training studio. That's all we do. We work with people individually. We'll, we will work with partners, but we don't do group training. We don't do any classes. It's a little different than a lot of people think about fitness. There's no memberships. There's no packages. And when I opened it 28 years ago, everybody said, well, this will never work. And here we are 28 <laughs> years later. And we train anybody, but since 2011, we have really focused on the 50 and over market. And we became what's called a strong over 50 certified studio. It's a program out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And one of the things that we use, a lot of people watching might be familiar with what they call suspension training. There are these straps that hang down that they have these handles. We tend to use this, it's called a body weight bar. And as you can see, it's, it's nice and straight. It's very stable. We have these nice cushioned handles. So this is what we use a lot with our 50 and over crowd for a safer version of exercise. Let me get that out of the way. Well, I love this. And you have some exercises that you're gonna show us today that kind of <coughs> focuses on people over yeah, 50. Yeah, I mean, when you're over 50, well, as you age, we lose three things. We lose strength. We lose flexibility and we lose balance. And so our program and our trainers are trained to, to really address all of these issues. So I wanna show all the audience that's watching today and you all exercises for each of these areas. So let's start with a basic strength exercise, which is a squat. Okay, that sounds very simple. You start with your feet shoulder width or hip width apart. I would call this an athletic stance. And then you're gonna pretend that there's a chair behind you. You're gonna squat down like you're sitting in a chair and then you're gonna come up. So the caboose, your little tush is pushing backwards and then you're pushing with your heels and you always wanna come up straight. We don't wanna kind of get into this bad posture, okay? And we also don't want the hips to come forward and on our toes. For those of, of your viewers who maybe are, are beginners or just starting exercise, go on and use a chair. Actually go on and sit in a chair, no plopping. We wanna sit softly and then lean forward. We call it nose over toes and stand up. So that's a very good strength exercise. The next one I'm gonna show you is, it's a, it's a stretching exercise, but it's also good for corrective posture. What is the posture of the typical person in the United States as they age, <laughs> right? Like this. So we sit too long, we type on the computer, we drive, and over years, our chest muscles draw in, okay, and they get tighter and tighter and we get hunched over. So a good exercise to open that up correcting your posture, which improves your balance, okay? Mm -hmm. We've got the weight over here. So this is, your arms are gonna be out, your palms are gonna be up, and your thumbs are gonna be backwards, and you're actually gonna try to pull your arms a little bit behind you. So hold them back there, and you feel a little pinch between your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. And now in that position, you're gonna do backward circles, and with every rotation, you're feeling the squeeze right good. here of your, yeah. of your shoulder blades, so you're strengthening your back, you're stretching your chest. Good posture correction will help everybody with their balance. I love okay. it. I, I can see people all hunched over. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the last exercise I'm gonna show you, this, this has a lot of bang for your buck. They actually were studies done on a University of California, Santa Barbara, a long time ago, showing that people who can take the largest step forward, so this is, we're out of balance, and can come back in balance, and they followed these people for years. The people that could take the largest step and come back to balance had lower incidences of falling, and that is really important. Think about when you trip. We usually catch our toe, right? And all of a sudden we're here, and if we're not strong enough, we're either gonna go down, right? or if we don't have enough balance, we might push ourselves back so far we go backwards. Right. So we wanna practice stepping forward, and it's a good strong push, but back to balance your feet together. So we go forward and back. Let's switch with the other leg, make sure. This builds muscle memory, so when you do trip, it automatically, your body's automatically ready to go back. So when you do regular exercise, you build something called neuromuscular communication. Fancy word for how your brain and your muscles relate. We want to get in the gym. We don't want to sit in machines and push and pull. No, it's we want boring. To, we, it's boring. Yes. And we want to use our body, body weight exercises, even just these three things. You know, they'll, they, will, they will all help. And everybody wants to be independent as they age. The key to independence is mobility, 
And the key to mobility is strength. And I love these because these yeah. are things that people can do at home. Now, if people can't get to see you, you still recommend that they get a personal trainer. How do they go about at, finding one? At least one? to get a program set up. Yes. One of the things that I, um, I've been in this business a long time, it really pains me that the consumers don't realize that personal trainers are not licensed in the state of Kentucky. They're not licensed in any state in the country. Mm. So there are no minimum standards like your massage therapist, physical therapist, occupational therapist. They all have licenses. Your barber, your cosmetologist. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. So what I would tell the consumer is knowing that there's no governing body, the first question I would ask of any trainer is what is your education because mm. all trainers can be certified you two could be certified personal trainers in 15 minutes on the internet hey, and you could put that on a business card <laughs> so what I ask is I think education trumps certification what is your education what did you study in school for this that would be my best advice good advice. and that is how you get a good trainer yes okay. well, excellent advice well Sheila thank you for coming in we want to age gracefully right yes and you can do yes. that with the help of a personal trainer. So check out Sheila's business. It's called Fitness Plus. All of the information is up on the screen. Today's Talk of the Town was sponsored by Fitness Plus.